A bunch of comments on my videos about the history and style of pixel art have asked, what would it be like if we didn't have any limitations and continued to make sprite art today? And that answer is simpler than you think. This is Beowulf, a character from my favorite fighting game, Skullgirls. And he is a sprite. This is a sprite. And this is a sprite. Sprites are, in essence, just still images shown one after another. They're traditional animation in video games. And so when you make sprites using the same goals that were in mind when you were making sprites in the CRT era, designing them for modern monitors and using the limitations we have now, which are very few, you just get hand-drawn animation. These characters from Dragon Crown, also sprites. All the characters and enemies from Cuphead, also sprites. So in a sense, the term sprite has lost all meaning without any limitations. Sprites back in the day had to use limited space, size, color palette. And while that's true for today as well, those limitations are far less restrictive. You can just have hand-drawn animation these days. Which is why I said earlier, pixelation is more of a choice. It's an aesthetic, as opposed to what it was back in the days of 8 and 16-bit consoles when it was a restriction.